Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now this episode is going to be quite uh, quite an important one. I know in the previous one I did say that we want to put the initial structures in the air so they're not going to be in the way. But then after recording the episode I realized, well, if we are going to go underground um, on top of this hill here, at least with some of our rooms and areas and, and, and yeah. But then I started thinking, well... We're not going to be in the way if we put some supporting structures in here. And once we start building as well, it will be much quicker and easier and better if all those buildings are actually relatively close. I mean, this is somewhat close as well, but I just have a feeling that the travel time from here to there, it's going to take some time, plus all the planting and uh, all the things they have to do. So, uh, yeah. What I've done before recording, I sort of roughly measured out, measured out where the middle point is or where we want to start going underground. So this is roughly the area. Right, well, we also have a, a merchant over here. Let's have a look. What do you have for us? Do we do we want anything? Um, Still, now we can make all this alcohol will be... Oh, no, that's ours. What do you have then? You've got lavish meals and herbs. Uh, do you know what? I don't think we really want anything. Cool. Okay, so whilst they're doing their things, uh, let's have a quick look up here. Right, so here's one where we're gonna go on the underground. And yeah, that's definitely gonna leave us a lot of a lot of space there. So how about we put some um, some structures? Just about, I guess here shouldn't be too much in the way. It's so maybe a wall out and, uh, well, because it's not going to be permanent, hopefully, uh, we can just give them simple bedrooms like this. Just a three by three. We've got a couple of people now, so three should be enough. And then we can move the beds over as well. How much wood do we have? We have loads of wood. Okay, so that's good. We'll put the floors in as well. And just a couple of doors like so. Now for the roof. Uh, sticks. We do have sticks, right? Yeah. Let's do... Oh. Let's try this again. Maybe this way, actually. Yeah. Okay, so they can uh, start constructing that over there. And I think the good-looking gamer is... Oh, yeah, he's got still quite a few books to write. And then with the crops and planting... Um, yeah, this could be a nice, nice area for that. So we'll redo them as well. One, two, three, four... Blacks, because we can start make, uh, making some clothes soon. Right now is... Oh, it's still spring. Okay, so... Don't need them too desperately, I suppose. But um, still good to have some. And we'll do barley as well. Right there. Uh, red currants. Well, we've got some here. But I suppose... Could put a few more. Maybe some herbs in this corner... And yeah, berries can go just over there. Cool. How far are we with the construction? That is not bad. Polly is doing all that. Pixie. Pixie's just drinking all the time. Well, not all the time, just now. And uh, quick praying session as well. Right, so I'm gonna try and build a couple of things, and as soon as it, this is done, we'll be uh, we'll be back. All right, and whilst we were building away, it seems we have our newest uh, settler. Uh, Alric is running away from... Um, yeah, he's definitely being changed right now. So we've got two options. We can uh, tell him, uh, no, sorry, we're a bit too full over here, which is not definitely not true. Use all the extra hands or take him in and he seems he's got a passion in botany. He might be a good marksman. And he's into mining as well, which is actually amazing, because we'll definitely need some miners very uh, soon. If we accept them, 
Then we're gonna have a raid with one archer and two more guys. Okay, so we'll we'll take him in. Fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna need an extra bedroom then, don't we? Yes, we do. So let's do that as well. Oh, and also, if you would like to have one of those uh, newer settlers named after you, then uh, do let us know in the in the comment section below and and in each episode when there are new settlers coming, then we'll we'll definitely name more after after you as well. Cool. So let's uh, create this extra bed bedroom just up here, and it's definitely gonna need a roof over this as well so we shall do that cool uh, Polly are you now you're doing some other stuff so let's look at the jobs real quick as well uh, that's gonna be always number one mining for you actually yeah number one as well and what else maybe hauling and then after that um would like you to construct things and then maybe doing a bit of botany but with the rest I think we don't really yeah need those ones and that should be should be good for the time being great well we'll carry on constructing things and and yeah once we're ready with this section here then we'll we'll jump straight back as well okay it seems our first raid has arrived so now Alric is gonna stay with us uh, oh all right they're not even gonna attack us our relationship with them just uh, took a bit of a dip uh, yeah well that's a shame I was looking forward to um, to the first raid of this uh, this playthrough because we could definitely use some more um, some new um, clothes and weapons as well but uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe next time then. Okay, we're with the construction here as well. We've got the three bedrooms now, just waiting for one more bed to be constructed. And with this section here, we're just continuing to put a couple more bedrooms in here. With the anticipation that we are going to have some more colonists very, very soon. Then um, the next things we'll need here is another... I don't even know if we are going to do another storage. Well, we're going to do some sort of a storage here. For sure. And then I think in the corner, we'll most likely have a dining room. Yeah, small table like this, couple of stools around. Oh. Yep, something like so. And then a door. We'll close it in. It doesn't even have to be too big. I think something like like this should do pretty nicely. Yeah. Could have made it even a little bit smaller. But actually, do you know what? I think we are going to make it a little... Just a tiny bit wider. Because then, do we have access to the shelves? No, we don't. Let's check. Um, preserving food. Oh, yeah. Well, definitely take you. Which means we can put some shelves in here. And then we can have some ready-made meals. Um, just in the shelves, so when they need food, they can come and sit down here. Grab some food off the shelves and... And enjoy their meal. Just got a couple more uh, roof bits to put in as well. And maybe a door in here. I think with the rest, we're just gonna go... Go easy, we've got bit of wood left but we'll just do a simple simple setup like so and actually you know what we'll cover the rest of it as well uh yeah okay so that's the dining room we shall also need let's see uh, somewhere for them to pray uh, if only it was one longer, that would be perfect then. One. Yeah, I guess we're gonna do something like this instead. And that should be, uh, should be fine. Okay, cool. Um, we'll carry on building. 
I'll, uh, as I said before, we'll put in a couple of those rooms and once they are done, then we'll talk about our future base ideas, what we want to do here. All right, and we do have another colonist that uh, would like to join our colony, Roderick over here. Let's uh, check out his stats as well. Oh, nice. Lovely carpentry, construction and melee. Um, we'll definitely welcome him to the uh, to our colony and uh, all right so that's the fifth one in the meanwhile uh, once we once we were building we also well I also asked on the on the discord if anyone would like to have a colonist named after then so you know, welcome Francesco to our uh, lovely uh, little colony over here uh, this leaves us still uh, Roderick and um, so yeah, we'll, we'll give him another name soon enough as well, but uh, I think we're at a good point where we can take a look at what we what we have so far. Uh, fortunately, we have just enough bedrooms for everyone now with uh, Roderick joining us as well. But uh, starting from this corner, we've got a little food um, storage area. So this is where all the raw ingredients will go. Then we've got the dining room uh, with a couple of uh, shelves for all the ready-made meals. Two different uh, shrines for people to pray. We've got a small uh, research room here, and right now they are busy uh, finalizing the uh, storage room. And I think we've started to bring, yeah, move some of those things up there already as well. A um, couple of books left, but I'm sure they'll bring it up very, very shortly as well. Now this summer it took us quite some, uh, quite some time to get get through it, and right now they priorities are a little messed up because um, we ran out of wood at some point I was so focused on constructing things so uh, yeah these are all a little messed up we'll, we'll tidy it up a little bit later but let's have a look um, Roderick so you could be a constructor as well uh, maybe a miner uh, do you know what hauling is going to be number one for you and I think with the good looking gamer we'll Shall we take you off the research and... Yeah, let's lower that prior priority. And maybe Roderick will, will help us out with that a little bit. Other stuff, I think maybe cutting plants could be... And then the rest, uh, carpentry is going to be... Maybe his main later, but it's not too necessary right now. So... Uh, do we in desperately need anything else here right now? Actually, I'd like to know what's your marksman 7 melee is 17. Wow, okay So that means um, Well, we'll give you all weapons for the time being All shields are fine as well hit gear everything goes um, Maybe we should start making some other clothes Stone block cutting is quite important as well. Um, do you know what? Stone block cutting will be first, and then we'll go into tailoring. Right, so looking at this... Oh, they've already mined out everything, so that's, that's fantastic. So this is where our staircase is. We'll start going down. How much clay do we have? A little bit, but not... Not a crazy amount. Okay. Um, we also don't have enough wood. Yeah, we pretty much harvested most of the trees up here. Because this uh, little construction proje project took uh, quite a lot of our resources. But that's okay. We'll just give them a, another task to go and cut down all those trees in there. Bring them closer. And while you look at that, we got Roderick... Francesco and the good-looking gamer and Polly as well pretty much everyone's here. So who's missing Pixie? Pixie, what are you up to? Okay, Pixie's making us some uh, Lovely meals. So uh, yeah, you can you can stay there Right, so a bit of mining is done already in uh, here I think we'll go with the wood staircases. So this is roughly What we are gonna do We'll go down one one more staircase. 
and in about here, I think we're going to mine it this way a little bit. Lovely. And actually, probably same over here. Now that we have the stairs in place, we can uh, safely mine away. I would like you to actually prioritize on these ones. Uh, do you know what? We'll go nice and nice and steady. Cut this tree as well, please. And then what we're going to do is we are going to mirror it on the other side. But essentially here we'll drop two levels. Is it two? Yeah, two levels and then another two will go down from here. Uh, let's see. Actually, now that I think about it, one, two, three... I think we'll have to go a little further. But that's, uh... No, it should be fine. It is fine. Right, another night time. Okay, we'll let the night go. Mm, oh, just more, three more hours, so it should be fine. So, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out how can we get down another staircase. We'll turn around... And I guess the actual entrance will be somewhere here. Or do we want it? Mm, now we would like. Yeah, I guess we'll go a little bit further. So if the door is going to be somewhere here, we would like to have a couple of tiles and then start the staircase. So maybe here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Was it like so? Yep. And then two to connect them. Yeah, that could do. Um, I think Roderick here is still injured. Let's look at your perks as well. Hate resistant. Okay. He likes working in the sun and he's um, robust, which means hit points recovery 25%. And the same for motor function and wound regeneration as well. So that's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, deep arm laceration, ooh, okay, so it's minor, another, what is it, three hours and he's feel, uh, gonna be back at it, so that's, uh, that's okay. Do we have anyone purely focused on mining, I think, oh, that's Roderick, yeah. Maybe we can have, um, Francesco, we'll bring it up a little bit, and Molly, what are you Cutting plants. Do you know what mining is going to be? Yeah, mining constructing. And with your skill level as well, I believe it should be pretty high. Mining 19, yeah, that's going to be quite a quick job for these guys. And I think we're going to put another staircase in there right away as well. And now we'll start mining lower once again. So, yeah, we'll do the same thing. I will... Constru finish constructing the stairs over here and then um, we can have a look at the, the rest of it. And we finally have our first raid. It seems like the mountain bandits would like to have a piece of us. Right, so what do we have? We got six of them, five of us, okay. Fortunately, only one archer, but it seems like he's got a longbow, okay. Um... How far are they? Okay, so it's gonna take them a little while to reach us, which is great. And here they come. What we'll do is let's just check where... Right, so they're gonna target one of those kilns. Okay, that's not bad. I think we can wait just a tiny bit before we need to get everyone ready and now is probably the time and what we'll do we'll bring everyone there except uh, the good looking gamer and Polly. you guys will get ready on the on the roof there all right how far are they almost here oh that's pretty exciting and hopefully we'll manage to dig down their archer as well it's not going to be one of the first ones. Oh, that's a shame. Where are you going? I really want that bow. But I guess we'll see how it's going to go. Not in range just yet. How about we'll bring you guys just a little over. 
Awesome, and we should be able to start firing any second now. Ooh, direct hit. We'll get the three of you. Well, oh, three of you. Nice. One down. Five to go. Okay, I want you. I actually do want you to target him. Okay, fantastic. Let's see if we can get the bow guy. Aiken down. Ooh. That hurts. Ah, good looking gamer got hit as well. Well, victory. Here we go. Five of them are dead. We have just one more, but I do not think he's going to be able to escape our very strong and brave warriors. And here we go. That's our first... Ah, first defense complete. Let's see, do we have warfare? Yes, we do. Another thing we have to do is, with the dead bodies, they don't really like um, seeing them. So... I guess we can uh, put a dumping area. Just over here, we don't want animals here. And with the humans, um, just the enemy corpses, please. And probably the highest priority as well. Alright, Pixie. Please haul this more soul over there. And Roderick, you can take another one. Francesco, sorry buddy, but now is not the time to play games. And who else is free? Where's... Okay, good looking gamer... Needs to heal up a little bit, so he's going to be in the bed. But with the rest of our colonists... Uh, where are you going? Ah, you're just getting some food. Okay, cool. And I think, Pixie, you can probably carry one more. And who's at the front there? That is Francesco. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to carry one more dead body over. So that's the first raid done. Quite a, quite a lot of resources here as well. I would love for you to please put them inside. Once they do that, uh, then we can maybe start equipping them with some slightly better things as well. So quick uh, look what we've done so far. We do have a couple of those kilns and we are already producing clay bricks, I hope. No, we haven't produced any yet, but well, that's the plan at least. And with the underground, our secret base over here. So this is the top layer. And the plan is the... Well, I hope it kind of makes sense. But this is going to be like the grand hall. A big hallway. And then to the sides, we're going to... Oh, quick autosave. So in the middle bit here, we're going to dig down maybe like three levels at least. On the sides, these are going to be like balconies. And then they can go around. Uh, and then onto the... Well, sides of those balconies. These are going to be our bedrooms. And I think we're going to do the same on the other side as well, because we can't go too far on this uh, this way. And then once we go low, even lower, well, not much here right now, but I have put in one of those um, stonemason benches. Just so we can get some uh, limestone bricks, because all those pillars will have to... Well, I'd prefer them to be these uh, limestone blocks. And I've already done done the same on the top level here. Uh, yeah, so with the construction as well, because the levels, well, they're not too low, but it just takes a little little bit longer to mine all this uh, stuff out. I think we can probably... Yeah. Okay, let's connect this up as well. Now, it is the day four of autumn, so I really want to get those bedrooms done before winter hits, because it's going to get pretty cold. And another thing uh, that we that we really need, uh, let's just have a look on the production. Oh, we haven't researched this yet. Okay, so tailoring. I would really like to get this going as well. Let's see, sewing station. Um, um, well, there isn't a whole lot of space here. But, um, uh, oh, okay, new settler. Salvation. Wentlin would be burned alive by the disciples. 
Ooh, that's, uh, that's not great. Let's see, what are you into? Smithing. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. Plus botany as well. Definitely could be, could be useful to us. But I don't think we have enough beds just yet. Right, so this is going to be a massive priority. Where is everyone? Bolly, no. Mining. Let's figure out the priorities here. Okay, mine. Uh, let's see, Polly, yep. Number one for the mining. Can we take someone else as well? Cooking. No, Francesco. Okay, so we have at least three to four miners. Hopefully we can get one of those rooms done. Yeah. And I'd also like to check what sort of skill does it take? Crafting. Okay, we've got a couple of crafters here. They've already queued up some of those bricks in here. So we'll do the same. Would like to get at least 500. And if we can keep all of them going, that should be a nice and, nice and easy task. Okay, we'll keep it on triple speed. Yep, not enough beds. I do know that. I am just waiting for these lazy people here. To mine this a little bit quicker. Nope, where are you going? No, 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 no. Get back here. Back onto this one. No, nope. Do not run away. Why are you all running away? That's okay. Paul is here to save the day, hopefully. Oh, it's 5 p.m. already. No, 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 no. Get back in there. Just two more. And then what we can uh, start doing... Oh, we would like to have the nicer furniture as well, actually. Ah, so close. Um, Can we do a temporary bed somewhere? I guess we can. Do you know what? Let's put a hay bed just over here. And, Polly, I know you want to pray, but... I think uh, this bed is going to be a priority. Here we go, we got another... Um, bedroom that everyone's gonna walk through, but hey, desperate times, desperate measures. We'll get it done. Okay, so now that this room is done, do we have any... Don't have a lot of clay bricks. But I was thinking of using clay bricks in, uh, in these rooms. And then, uh, yeah, can we do also... Oh, we can do bit of heating for our guys. Now the question is clay or stone? Don't have a lot of limestone but we do have a lot of clay. So what I'm thinking we might just do clay. Well let's call them the heaters. So that's what they pretty much are. And then hopefully once we get the enough points as well. Where is furniture? We need only 15. Okay, so that's great. That's not too expensive. And then we could get the wooden hay beds. Bit more comfort. I don't actually remember. Is this gonna... Uh, let's see. Well, it's not gonna give any extra benefits. I think. Let's have a look. Info. Yeah. Well... I suppose it doesn't really matter. We can just put some hay beds down as well. But it's gonna be... It's gonna look nicer if we get those... Well, wait. Really? Oh. Okay, so... Mm, I don't think we're gonna... Yeah. Hand him in. Two archers. I'm sure we can do that. Oh. Okay, so we just lost... Uh, uh, well, they, they don't like us too much anymore. Which is, I suppose, it's fine. Can someone please haul all these weapons in there? Yep. All of them, please. Maybe we need someone... Okay, Wentland. You're gonna be our... main hauler. Please start bringing all this stuff inside. Before it uh, degrades and, um, and we we'll lose them. I guess flimsy stuff we don't care too much about. We're going to take them apart anyways. But anything else would be, be amazing to have. Uh, right. 
Now, we also had to build... Hmm. I think we were... Planning to build something here, didn't we? So let's do that. Uh, yeah, we need the tailor. Okay, more clay is needed. It should be a priority as well. It's quite high for all of them. Maybe we'll... Give it a slightly higher priority. Well, let's take a look. Ah, oh, it's it is crafting. Okay. And we want this to be 500. And uh, not just the mount until we... Ah, oh, okay. Let's do it again. And two. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the time being. We're gonna try and carry on with building and mining those bedrooms out here. And then same with the rest here as well. We'll try and clean this up as much as we can. And then once this is our all cleaned up, we're going to start going lower. Um, oh, okay. So can we now do the ceiling station? Yes, we can. So that's great. We can start making some uh, winter clothes for everyone as well. Because the temperature has already dropped to only 5 degrees Celsius outside. But okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode. If you have any uh, any suggestions or comments, feel free to post them below the video. But other than that, thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one.